to grab my mask. Hello folks, we're going to show you how the Alta-X blades are balanced today. And I'm traveling there via dump truck chariot. See how fast you can go backwards. <laughs> don't hit the wall here, don't hit the wall. Okay, okay. We're going to hang our right. We're coming to visit you. Did Dave, did Dave turn the robot on? Did anyone ask any questions? Uh, just hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. We're going to show you today how we balance Alta X blades. So I think it's the only drone that has dynamically balanced uh, motor, prop adapter, and blade assembly. And that's part of why it gets really, really great footage. So we're going to show you that. And Colin is going to actually do the work. So I guess we'll go over the let's go over the setup. So this is a balancing system that would normally be used on like a full size uh, helicopter or airplane. So you bolt this on and you mark um, on the motor so you know uh, you know both. So it's got an accelerometer and a tachometer and it's actually keeping track of where the, the phase of the motor is. So it tells you where to add weight after it measures. You run it up, you measure it, you see where it imbalances on this guy here. You want to get it on this guy. Um, and then it tells you where to add the weight. And then we have machined a bunch of stainless weights. I think they come in 0.1 gram increments. So whatever weight you need, we have the ability to add it precisely. We got a little scale here so we can measure it. This is a crazy, death capacitor system to power the motor. Um, so you bolt on, you know, we bolt on each uh, active blade and prop assembly, and then we balance it. Somebody says they're just hanging out to see work. <laughs> Be a first. Um, yeah, so. So this is just essentially a boom from an Alta X, a motor from Alta X, motor drive from Alta X. We've got a tack here, We've got an accelerometer. Um, do you do this for every motor? We do this for every single prop and active blade assembly that ships out with Alta X. So on average, once we, no, 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 the megaphone is coming next. Don't worry, we haven't gotten there yet. Um, yeah, so this was about, I, I'm trying to remember, I think it was about a 10x reduction in vibration. So it made a big difference. And if you've ever built custom drones or anything like that, you know that once you start getting really big prop assemblies, like this, these are 33 inch props, the vibrations can get huge. Um, and that's what a lot of what led us to design and innovate the active blade assembly as well as implement this vibration, this last step of, uh, of dynamically balancing uh, the rotor head. So kind of the cool thing is a lot of times with drones, they just, you know, people will just weigh and match the, the weights of the blades. But we're doing a little bit, that's called like static balancing. We're doing it a little bit differently where we spin that whole assembly up and we see, we check the dynamic balance to make sure that you know, at the rotor RPM or close there, close to the rotor RPM, you're not getting any vibration. And so in the active blade assembly, we have these three or four M3 holes. And those are the points where we can add weight. And you'll see that live in a second. It's gonna get a little bit loud. But you can see this whole assembly you can rock back and forth. That's basically how the active blade works. There's a couple big bearings in there. There's a shaft. This is the tower that kind of mounts to the motor face and then you know, as you're doing cyclic moves or flying in fast forward flight, it allows this whole assembly to change angle, angle of attack of the blades to kind of neutralize pressure across the disc and reduce vibration. So, 
let's balance one. Let's do it. I don't actually know how to do it, so you have to take over from here on out. <laughs> and this is the safety cage, so you can't accidentally lose a finger. Magnet, safe, yeah. All right, we gotta mount it first. <laughs> so you can see it, it, it goes on the shaft and now he's adding four M3 bolts. Do we need to do the balancing from time to time or just buy new assembly props? Um, you don't, the only thing, only reason you would need to do the balance is if you damaged a prop or if you change, like if you took, took the active blade assembly off of the motor and then change something. But you'll be able to check always with your Alta by looking at the vibration levels in the flight logs. So you can always double check and make sure that your vibrations are okay. And honestly, if the footage looks good, then you know you're in a good position because that's the thing we care about most. Okay, so four M3 bolts bolted on. So what are you doing now? Uh, just resetting, starting a new job. Okay. So you can hear the motor just initialized or the motor drive just initialized. And did that, did that initialize because we closed this and it turned the power on? Yes. So we've got a safety interlock here. When you close this, it actually activates power for this. So you can't turn the thing on by accident. All right, we're ready to make some noise. Yep. What pulse width were you trying to get to here? Uh, it's right around 1567, but we want to get around uh, 2100 RPM. Okay, so he's just controlling, this is a, just a servo tester, so, so we're controlling a pulse width and that's con converting it to an RPM uh, at the motor. And so we, we have a set of motor RPM that we're trying to balance for that is similar to the hover RPM on the Alta, so we make sure that it's dynamically balanced at the right RPM. We should really replace this with something automated so you don't have to adjust that thing by it's hand. It's very touchy. Yeah, I would, I would throw a fit about that. Contact <laughs> your supervisor immediately. I'll do that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Done so many of them, it doesn't, it's not a big deal. Yeah. So now we're going to add some weights. So what did it tell you? How do you know where to add the weight? So it's telling me here to add one gram okay. to hole number one. Okay. And 1 1.8 grams to hole number two. And what was our vibration level on that first run? I think it was 1.1 1 .1 or something like that. Okay. And we want Inch to, per second? Yeah, we want to be below 0.2. So we started out at an inch per second of 1.1 and we want to be, low, be, be below 0.2. But with more weight, will the RPM not change for hover? Yeah, the RPM will change, but we want to get, we want to do the best approximation we can for hover RPM. And this balance will be valid over a wide range of RPM. Hi, Assad. Good to hear from you. Okay, so you just added you added the weight that it told you to to the Correct. holes it told you to. Okay, mm -hmm. now we're gonna spool it up and check. First run was 1.14, and now we're down to 0.44. Okay, so less than half the vibration in the first round, so that's good. So it'll tell us to change the new weights, put new weights on. This is like a game of guess and check until, um, so our, our threshold is 0.2, is that right, Colin? Yes. Okay, so unless we can get this assembly below 0.2, we don't consider it a pass. 
So we, when, when I say we, I'm using the term like my dad did when I was a kid and work needed to be done that I needed to do. Uh, we will we will iterate and test and add weights in different places based upon the feedback this gets over and over and over again until we get below point two. What was that? Why test in the vertical position? No, I don't think there's a big reason there. Um, that's just from convenience. Let's see. Oh, I think also that's from a safety perspective. Um, no, four days. This We do this for every prop assembly. So every active blade assembly and prop goes through this process. So every Alta X that we ship, every prop on every Alta X um, is balanced in this way. speaker video in a little bit we're still prepping for that <laughs> so what did we get that time 0 0.06 oh my gosh 0 0.06 so, so 0 0.06 is fantastic right yep okay so let's set that aside for my alta x and <laughs> we'll, we'll, i want three more that are 0 0.06 or thereabouts all right no i can't speak portuguese where is Daniel? I don't know where Daniel is. He's testing something. That guy, you can never track him down. His Are they whereabouts. Board, board with you already? They're asking for someone else? No, there's just this one guy who's a Daniel fan. <laughs> Did you have you done any crash yet? Yes, we've done I've done many crashes. <laughs> I know exactly what happens in case of a crash. So what are you doing now? I just mark it to know that I balanced it. Okay. Cool. So this one's good to go. It is. So it goes in the good pile and off the Alta X it goes. Yep, it'll go over and these will be removed and Loctited and torqued. Okay. And then they're done. Great. Um, we need to tell Wes to get you a thing that you don't have to adjust manually. <laughs> that's, that's rude. Wes, if you're watching, what's going on? <laughs> How do you guys determine the tolerance requirements? Uh, well, engineering during the development pro process of Alta X, we pick different thresholds for vibration, and then we test it against those to make sure that at those vibration levels, the footage looked good. So we, it's kind of a guess and check type thing where we take a guess at what we think an acceptable vibration would be, and then we validate that in the real world to make sure uh, that the footage actually looks good. So at the levels we're balancing to, um, 0.2 inch per second is our current threshold and I think you know even if we didn't do this balancing with the Alta X vibration isolation system the footage still looks very good uh, this is just we do this mainly because any added vibration um, reduces lifetime of all the components and adds you know all kinds of wear and tear on the thing so we want to make sure it's running as smooth as possible Colin looks like a ninja holding that thing with a mask he is a ninja will you make a bigger carbon for the Alta X yes we will that sounds like a great time. Will you pay us a lot of money for that? That's the question for you. <laughs> hey, what's this about? We're balancing Alta X um, prop assemblies, active blade assemblies. We got to, oh, can you show, Colin, will you show how these all can nest together? Oh yeah. This is an ingenious design that I think Eric and Dave came up with. So you can combine these weights in like a million different ways to get the perfect weight. So we take a, 0.6 and then these are a 2.0 and then it just fits right inside it so it's nice and low profile so now that's 2.6 I think there were some questions if you replace the props on that assembly would it change the balance much uh, yes it would it would depend in a perfect world, those props would be exactly the same as the other props, and then you wouldn't have much of a change, but that's not really typically what happens. Um, so you, you, if the props were similar, you would have a change, but the, the good news is 
the active blade assembly, like that machined hub and everything, if that had any imbalance, we would have already corrected for that imbalance. So hopefully you would still be more balanced than you would be without any of this process, even if you change the props. But we also sell replacement, you know, the entire replacement assembly. So if you want a fully balanced active blade assembly from Freefly with props, you can get it. Why are they so expensive? What's they? The, the active blade assemblies? Um, I mean, I don't think they're that expensive, really. This took like 10 years of thinking and a year of design work to figure out. So factor those costs in, it seems pretty cheap. Any other questions? Oh, the drone. Well, the drone's expensive because it's a professional tool that allows you to make monster amounts of money if you know what to do with it. It's not only balancing the assembly then. I don't understand that question. Uh, it's balancing the active blade assembly and the props. Balancing that whole assembly dynamically. It's a steel, yeah, inertial sky. He's actually using one to work every single day and it's, it's getting the job done for him. Where can I get the most detailed manual of Alta X or maybe a flight controller? Is the wiki the maximum? Yes, the, all of the information that we have for Alta X is posted on the wiki. 